Welcome back, everyone, to another live stream. I'm Zach. I'm an accountant. I'm here to answer your questions and play some games. And today it is Sunday night, so we are playing some more Cities Skylines. How are all you guys? Did you guys have a good, a good weekend? Are you looking forward to a new week? Well, I know, I know, I know. We are going to be making an announcement at the top of today's stream because... You know, we talked about this yesterday on the stream with Claude, the Saturday morning stream, that I have been thinking of changing up my streaming schedule. So we're going to get into all of that, and then we're going to be doing some really cool stuff in City Skylines because I'm going to be building my brand new campus in the city. And I'm going to be using the, uh, the university campus, uh, the highest level one, because I actually have not, never built one up to the the highest level, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm really, really excited. So I'm just drinking my tea here and um, getting ready to play some video games and enjoying my Sunday night. I hope that you guys are enjoying, enjoying your Sunday night too, and we are going to get started. But uh, So here's my city. Here's my city we're going to be working on. If you guys remember, it's the giant F. It's a giant F city. But before we get into this, before we get into this, let me get, let me explain what is happening with the streaming schedule because it's going to be a little bit of a shocker. It's going to be a little bit of a shocker. You know, I asked you guys what kind of games you wanted to see me play and what did you guys like about uh, uh, about the streaming schedule. And you guys all gave me great feedback. Thank you so, so much. Um, you know, I was back and forth with Claude on Discord about this, about what we were going to do, what we were going to do going forward. And basically, it's really pretty simple. It was a really hard decision, but uh, basically, we're going to be ending the ARC series on this channel. We're going to be ending both of the ARC series, which means... We're going to have more room to play more City Skylines. So, yeah. <laughs> That's the big shocking change. And you know what? It, you know, I shouldn't like blow it out of proportion. It's not that big of a change, but it was kind of a big deal. It was kind of a big deal. But I think this is, a, it is, I think this is really good timing. Because, you know, we were playing a lot of ARC for a specific period of time uh, right when the new ARC DLC came out. There was a whole bunch of people playing ARC. So I think it was, like, really good. But, you know, that, that happened a while ago. So now we're just kind of transitioning to new things. And I think Claude and I both have the same perspective on this, that um, uh, we both like to keep our channels, like, fresh and doing new things and always changing things up. So that's what we're doing. We're just going to change things up. You know, Fortnite was something new that both Claude and I started, um, and I've been having a ton of fun with that and a ton of fun playing with you guys. And so I want to keep that going, but I just had too many different series going on in the channel. So with, with cutting out ARC, that cuts out two whole series, my solo survival series and Claude's solo survival series. But that means that we can play more Minecraft, more Fortnite, more City Skylines, and it'll just be a whole lot easier, I think, for everybody. Oh. Uh. Wow, chat is going crazy. Oh, Gavin's crying. Dr. Brown says, more cities? Brady says, I do not think you would be ending ARC. Yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan of ARC, but I also like all these games. And, like, I can't, I can't play everything. Sasha so says, rip ARC. Gavin says, I love ARC 2, but, <coughs> but yay. Zappy Zebra says, Elder Scrolls, am I a joke to you? Um, <clears throat> good gaming's in chat saying, good day, gamers, rip ARC. Duma says, why, Zach? Yeah, so Duma's a big ARC fan, but um, yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's you know, like we had such a good time with our. Well, no, here, let me, let me just, let me just clarify something. We're going to do one more week of ARC streams. There's going to be one more week of ARC. So 
In my solo survival series, I'm going to be finishing my epic base on the Aberration map. And then Claude and I, next Saturday, are going to have our final arc stream where we're going to be fighting T-Rexes. We're going to do a whole bunch of fun stuff. So there's going to be one more week of arc, and then you're go but you're going to see the schedule change after that. Dumas says, I am disappointed. Brady asks, what's the official schedule? The official schedule, AJ said the death of AJ Bird number two should have seen that coming. Uh, Brady said, what's the official schedule? The official schedule is Fortnite Monday and Tuesday. Well, so this is, this is not going to start this week. This week is all about ARC, doing the final week of ARC. We're also going to play Golf It on Wednesday. Claude and I, I don't know if you guys have seen us when Claude and I play Golf It, but we thought that would be fun. We'll do that on Wednesday. Uh, we're going to be playing a lot of ARC this week, but after that, we're going to switch to a schedule of Fortnite Monday and Tuesday, Minecraft with Claude on Wednesday, Thursday, I'll do my Minecraft solo survival series, Friday, excuse me, Friday we'll do City Skylines, Saturday I'll do more Minecraft with Claude, and then Sunday I'll do City Skylines. So it's kind of similar to what I've been doing, but no ARC and more City Skylines. All the, all the days I've been doing with Claude are exactly the same. Except instead of ARC, we're playing Minecraft. Gavin said, you just got the ice golem thing. Yeah, we just got the ice golem. The, um, uh, the, you got to realize, though, but I mean, the maps aren't going away. So I'm saving all the map files. So if we want to come back to ARC, we can always come back to ARC later. I mean, we can always come back and play more of it later, but I'm just saving the maps right now, um, and we'll play some other games for a while, and maybe, maybe we'll bring Ark back. I mean, I'm not losing it. Tommy in chat is saying, rip. Dumas says, can I at least play with you? <laughs> uh, Claude says, you have to watch. Dr. Brown says, you can just abandon your series silently like I do with my stuff. Zappy says, I have at least 100 abandoned series. Dr. Brown says, I have like three abandoned series. I plan on reviving one of the three again. Duma says, can I have the map files? No, I'm not going to be sharing any of the map files. But uh, you know what? We're going we're gonna to celebrate this week. We're going to end the series right. So we're going to end these arc series. And then we're going to jump into some really cool, fun stuff moving forward. Uh, <laughs> Good Gaming says, looks like I'm going to have to guide myself to Ark now. Oof. Oof. All right. Well, let's jump into the game here. Let's jump into the game. We're, um, we're going to be doing so much cool stuff here. I'm really looking forward to it. We are going to be working on um, crazy, Crazy's Mansion up here. We are still going to do that, but we're putting that on hold because what I want to do is work on the college campus area which I'm gonna do right down here. And I'm actually gonna start by buying this square because I want, I want just plenty of room to expand. So we're gonna buy this square here and we're also gonna buy this square here because I'm gonna be building out the downtown area a little bit more. So that just gives me a little bit more room to work. We have lots of money right now, which is great because these campus buildings are very expensive, very expensive. Zappy Zebra says, a good way to get view more happy people is start a series and abandon and bring it back later. Gavin says, what are the days with ARC this week? So I put the, the schedule for this week because it's different is in the description right now. So ARC is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, basically. Uh, Duma says, good gaming. I will be with you if you want to. <laughs> Good Gaming says, please, Duma, I still don't know what I'm doing with ARC. Oh, by the way, Good Gaming, I watched your ARC video. It was really, really good. <laughs> good Gaming is like, he was like killing Dilophosaurus and man, you're like better at it than I am. I was really impressed. Really, really impressed. So I think what we're going to do is I want to put it... Uh, put a college campus right here along the river. I'm going to start with a really, uh, a really wide road. I'm going to have it come just along the river here. Hi. 
kind of down, all the way down here. And then, you know, I want to actually connect it up to the health and wealth district. So let's expand the health and wealth district a little bit. How much, how long is this? Okay, this is 1560. So it should be the same length if I go 1560 out this direction. Boom. Okay. Let me... All right, I just want to like, shoot! Oh man, <laughs> that's what happens when you accidentally click. I mean, I kind of want to extend this out all in like a perfect grid here. Oh, that's not a perfect grid. Why does this look like this? Why does that look all funky like that? I think I did that wrong. Okay, that's better. I don't know what was happening there. All right, let's delete that. All right, so if this is a perfect grid, this allows me room to expand, and then I can run this underneath the freeway here and meet up with this other road. Go under the freeway. And just meet up down here perfectly like that. All right. And then we'll just curve this around. I don't know if I entirely like this road. You know, it might as well just be straight. I mean, it's not like really curvy enough to be anything significant. No, well, let's do this. Let's delete this road here. All right, Good Gaming says collabs are fun. Uh, yeah, collabs are fun. I should, I should do a collab with Good Gaming. I haven't figured out how to do it because he does mobile games and I don't do mobile games, but uh, a collab with Good Gaming would be really fun. <laughs> Good Gaming say my bow is OP, nice. Zappy Zebra says I can't keep up with everyone's videos. Yeah, it's hard, I try Zappy. Zappy, I try to keep up with everyone's videos. Um, uh, Dr. Brown says, I have a trolling video released tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. Nice, Dr. Brown. Yeah, Doc, what I like about Dr. Brown's channel is Dr. Brown's always good at switching. Th you know, we were talking about how you have to keep things fresh and switch things up on your channel. Dr. Brown is really good at that. He's always good at, like, switching things up and keeping things fresh. Um... Dr. Brown says, why do I leak my new videos to 10 random people on the internet? <laughs> running says, can you figure out who I am? I don't know who you are running. running. <laughs> Dr. Brown says, I'm planning on doing an admin abusing video in a while. I'm not that desperate for attention and views right now. Gavin says, Zach, I'm live again at 1045 Mountain Time. Nice. Uh, Good Gaming says, Zach, have you seen my week three city update on Discord? No, I haven't seen it yet. I'll have to check it out after the stream. I'll have to check it out. All right, let's keep working on this here. So I think rather than making something curvy, I think we'll just make it straight. We'll just come straight down to here. Oof, that looks kind of ugly, doesn't it? <laughs> it kind of ruins the beach. But you know what, that's okay, that's okay. These people are in college, they don't need to go to the beach. They don't need to go to the beach. All right, so let's, let's have that, and then we'll have like a little road. We're gonna build the administration building. 
So we're gonna have a little road just in the center here that just comes to the administrator's office. And it's gonna be just kind of centrally located here. And then here we go. So I have everything unlocked on this, by the way. So everything's already unlocked. I don't have to like level things up or anything. But here is our grand, oh, this is gonna look so good, you guys. Look at that. The Grand University Building. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing. That looks amazing. All right, let's just call it University for now. University. You know what? Let's call it the University of Truth. University of Truth. We speak the truth here at the University of Truth. Look at that. Epic. Now that's, that's one epic looking college campus. Uh, Dr. Brown says, landscape it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, running is talking about a riddle. Dr. Brown says, I misspell a lot in Minecraft. <laughs> All right, so let's draw out the college campus. So it's going to be this whole area here. We're just going to convert this all to the college campus. Yeah, and I, you know, I kind of wanted to talk about college campuses and what's happening because I think this whole coronavirus thing is going to be like a major, major change for colleges. I don't think colleges are ever going back. I think everything else in society is going to go back to normal, but colleges won't. Colleges were going to stay like all online. And I was thinking like, I was thinking about like my own college experience and granted like I think I could have done most of my classes online. I mean, probably not, probably not like the small, the smaller, more intimate classes where you're like actually working hands on with stuff. But most of the larger classes, I mean, you're just sitting in an auditorium with like 500 other students. Those could all be done, done remotely and all done online. And I think it's gonna completely change how college campuses operate. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy to think about. Hey, Liam's in chat. Good to see you, man. I'm late again. I missed the great announcement. Oh, Liam. So the great announcement is I'm going to be ending the ARC series on my channel, and I'm going to be playing more City Skylines. That's the announcement. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I think more, more and more college classes are going to be online, which means all these colleges are going to have empty buildings, but I don't think that that's necessarily much of a problem because a lot of the buildings in, on college campuses are, um, are really old. Like a lot of colleges have been around for a while and they have these like big buildings that are like really past their end of life and falling down. So I think what's going to happen is colleges are going to like just demolish all their old buildings, make all their students like not have classroom space for students, make all the students go online and just have, it's just going to be a different college experience. Um, and it's really funny. Like, I think, I think when I look, when I think back on my college experience, I think some of the best, some of the best parts of my college experience were, were stuff that I experienced in person. What do I need to put here? Groundskeeping, futsal club, outdoor study. Oh, that's too big. Gymnasium, cafeteria library, math club, commencement office, statue, auditorium, 
laboratories, bookstore, media lab. Gosh, these buildings are so cool. School of Law, School of Science, and School of Medicine. All right. Uh, well, we definitely want the bookstore. We definitely want the bookstore like near the entryway here. So we're going to put the bookstore right here. And then we'll put maybe the auditor. No, we'll put commencement. We'll put commencement office like right at the beginning. I think that'll be good. All right, how does that look? Look at that. That is looking really, really sharp. Gosh, this is going to be so cool when I'm done. Uh, everyone's saying bruh in chat. Ugh. Hey, crazy join chat. Good to see you, man. We're working on our college campus. Yeah, I do. I mean, I think some things with colleges are going to get lost with everything online. I mean, even things like parties. Like, I, I mean, because I, I moved away from home, right? And I moved to a college in a different state, and I lived there. But it was so great to, like, intermingle with all of with different students from all over the world, all doing cool stuff. I made so many good friends. And just being able to go to parties with all these people, you would just sit and you would talk and you would share ideas and you would think about things and be exposed to new people with new backgrounds. Like that really is one of the cool things with college that's just not gonna happen anymore. Because if things are online, I don't know why anybody would go to an out-of-state college after this. You know, like, why would you go to the expense of moving out of state and then just sitting in your apartment and never seeing anybody? You might as well just stay at home. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But I think that's just the new world we live in. And we've got to get used to it and find new ways of connecting with people. All right, so we need some classrooms. We actually need some classrooms. And I want to put in the medical school because given the current environment, we definitely need, need a medical school. Now this would actually look really good, like right here. So maybe we'll put the medical school right there. How does that look? Wow. That's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. Look at that. All right. Man, that looks cool. Jeffrey Duck says, Zach, you owe me 200 Minecraft dollars. For what? For what, Jeffrey? Claude says the university is looking good. Oh, Claude, by the way, since you're here, uh, great Fallout stream, by the way. I was watching it, and I don't know what, what you were doing, but it seemed really hard. Like, it seemed like the hardest mission that you've ever done so far in Fallout. It was crazy. You were fighting somebody named Clint Eastwood. Like, I don't know what was going on, but it seemed really hard. And then everybody was, like, freaking about, out about corn. I didn't understand that. I didn't understand why everyone in your chat was freaking out about corn. But uh, it was a really good stream. I'm not done with it yet. <laughs> but, yeah, it seemed like it was really hard. Liam says, my housemate in college would walk around. Oh, goodness, Liam. <laughs> My goodness. Good Gaming says we're going to need that 5G. Dr. Brown says my brother is lucky he graduated last year, even though number 2019 triggers my OCD. <laughs> Claude says, yes, I was unable to kill him. He still walks the wasteland. All right. So we're going to need to, you know, if we're going to have this, we're going to need to have dorms. So where should I put the dorms? You know what I think would be really nice? I think we should have the dorms along the waterfront. I think that would be really cool. Wouldn't it be really cool 
to live in like an apartment like right next to the water. It's obviously like the best land value. So probably this would probably never happen in real life because they would want like expensive offices or something next to the uh, waterfront. But this isn't real life. This is my city and I'm going to do what I want, which means I can put the dorms right next to the water. I think that's going to look really, really cool. So I could put them down here or I can put them like up here. Hmm. I don't want to make this too cluttered. You know what I might do? I mean, they're not that big. What is this? Study hall? Dorms. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. You know what? Let's do this. Let's put them all over here. I think that'll be better. And then later on, later on, because I'm going to expand. This is going to be a massive university. Later on, I'm going to expand it down here. So there'll be more dorms by the water down here. But I'm going to make a little complex right here. So you guys, I haven't like planned this out at all. So we're, uh, we're just kind of like going with it. <laughs> I'm just figuring out it out as we go. But I think it would be look really cool if we had something like right here. So that kind of that kind of went parallel to this. So let's put that up like that. And then we can put dorms like right here. Yeah, so I'm just going to line them up like this. And then I'll put another set. I'll put another set like right here. Hopefully this will fit. Please fit. Please fit. Boom. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. Um, and then that can connect up to there. Oh, these poor guys get a view of the freeway. <laughs> That's kind of awful. <laughs> that is kind of awful. But doesn't that look cool? That looks really pretty cool. They're all like lined up like that. All right. And then we can just connect this over to here like that. Boom, just like that. Is it connected? Yes. Nice. All right, this is all taking shape, you guys. This is all taking shape. We'll connect this up straight to there. Oh, nice. Um, let's see. <laughs> what are people saying? Dr. Brown says, to be honest, we aren't really paying attention to the college. AJ says, what? Zappy says, instead of being in the moment and look at all the tourism attractions, you can use Google Earth. It's free, too, and you can't feel the atmosphere of the place you're visiting. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> Claude says, you can up the price of the dorms if they're by the water. Put four kids per room and make a ton of money. Jeffrey Duck says, Zach is secretly a 72-year-old grandpa who just looks really young. Yeah, I've decided the, the I, I found the cure to uh, stop aging. <laughs> Man, I could make a lot of money if I figured that out. Uh, Dr. Brown says, who will put kids in a dorm? Claude? <laughs> Liam says, let's hope Dr. Doom doesn't flood the college. Oh, please, let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, Zappy says, and he's not an accountant, just an underpaid math teacher. Oof, oof. What if I was secretly a math teacher? <laughs> uh, Dr. Brown says, Dr. Doom isn't in control anymore. We fired him. Yeah, that's what, that's what we think. 
Uh, Dr. Brown says he still lives here, but he still gets the vote. He just can't work for the city anymore. The college looks good, though, not triggering my OCD. Zappy says, I thought he was exiled to a random island in the Pacific Ocean. No, no, no. He's not exiled yet. Brady says he went on vacation, despite there being a global pandemic going on. Zappy said, I think it would be better to exile him. Hey, Viper's in chat. Good to see you. He says, hi, Zach. I'm back. And by the way, I subbed and turned on notifications and added you on Fortnite. Thanks, man. Okay, so Fortnite this week. For those of you who, who want to play Fortnite, we're play I'm doing solos on Monday and squads on Tuesday with Claude. So uh, that'll be fun. Oh, Claude, if you're still here, um, can you hop on the stream tomorrow at the beginning of the stream? I need some tips on how to use a sniper. I'm trying to figure out how to use a sniper, and I'm not very good. So just want to know if you, you were free to hop on tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> AJ says, Fred's gasoline, Gulag's parks and rides, Claude's Gulag's 2020. Huh. Liam says they can count how many cars drive by. Yeah. Uh, in the, the dorms next to the freeway. Dr. Brown says, just add trees in front of the dorms near the highway. That is a really good idea, Dr. Brown. Claude says, bruh. Uh, Claude says, sure, I'll jump on at my normal time. Yes. All right. <laughs> cool. Claude, Claude teaches me all the tips. He's kind of a pro gamer, so he, like, he knows all, all the secrets. Uh, <laughs> Zappy says he's not exiled yet. It's a clue. It's a clue. All right. Let's keep, let's keep building this out. How much money have I... Oh, oh my gosh. I've spent like $400,000 building this college campus. This college campus better work out. This better work out. All right. So do we have everything we need to get this started here? We have... I should probably build a pathway over here. But we have... Um, a lot of campus attractiveness. Zero students. Zero academic works. It's at the beginning. All right, so that's okay. So we have enough attractiveness. We have uh, classrooms. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so we have over 1,000 students in the city, and we j need 1,000 students to fill that up. Uh, commencement office and the bookstore, and then these are very expensive. These are very expensive. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna leave it like that. I can't really afford to do any more, I don't think. But we're gonna go over here. We have this other, this temporary college that's been uh, running over here. We're gonna turn this off and hopefully get these students to go to this university over here. Oof, oh, that made people unhappy. That made people really unhappy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Whew. All right, Viper says, I would help you, but I don't know if that well will work because I'm mobile, so I don't know if that's okay with you. <laughs> uh, you, can play, you can play squads with us on Tuesday, Viper. Good Gaming says, please, my university is located between two highways. All dorms are located next to the highways and they're as busy. Zappy says, don't worry, Zach, you'll get millions from the poor students paying a really high tuition. Viper says, all I can say is I'm insane. Nice, Viper. <laughs> uh, Liam says, Claude is awesome. Zach is too. Thanks, Liam. Thanks. All right. So far, University of Truth is looking really good. What was I, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, one more thing. Before we start the simulation, I need to connect up the metro line because I want this metro, or maybe I just do buses. No, the whole point was this metro line was supposed to go to this college. Or maybe I just add a new metro line here. No, we'll add another. We'll, we'll connect it up here. This met, I put this metro line here specifically for the college. So let's just keep, let's just keep that running. All right, so we're going to have... This, is, this stop is going to go all the way down and then meet up. Let's have it meet up down here. Slope too steep. You've got to be kidding me. We'll have it meet up down here next to the medical building.
Yeah, this is a good spot because what's gonna happen is this collage is gonna extend all the way down here. So this is really like centrally located to the whole college. So we'll do that. We'll connect it up. We'll connect up this. It's gonna run right next to this tunnel over here. We'll come down here. Maybe we'll add another stop in here, but not yet. Not yet. Um, and then we will curve it. Just like this. Boom. Look at that. Looking great. All right. So that is actually a pretty good metro line. And then I'm going to build stations down here. So I'm going to be doing some cool stuff to the downtown area. So you're going to see a lot of new stuff happen down here. So we're going to put two metro stations on either side of the downtown because there's kind of a lot of stuff that's going to go on downtown here. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That's a little obnoxious. Oh gosh. It won't. It. Oh gosh. It won't be. Uh, I can't make it be straight. Well, that's obnoxious. The only place I can do it is right here. Oh well, we'll just do it right there. And then I'll add another stop. We'll add another stop here. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll add another stop here. And then this will go all the way down to the fish market. <laughs> this is a little bit of a weird metro line, I know, I know, guys, but this is just how it's going to work. <laughs> this is just how it's going to work. All right, so this will go here. We'll connect this up to here. Boom. This will connect up to here. Like that. And there's two stations here really close to each other because there's going to be tons of people like using those stops, like tons and tons of people. All right, so this is my new metro system. It goes from here to here, and then from the university through downtown to the fish district, Baby Shark Harbor. What do you guys think about that? All right. Um, Dr. Brown says, also make a bus route, Disaster Bay to the college and back, and downtown to the college and back. Oh, hey, that's what we just did. Dr. Brown and I are thinking alike. Oh gosh, I'm using all my money. Dr. Brown says, turn it on. <laughs> I only have $300,000 left. Oh. Dr. Brown says, make it a full circle. All right. Well, let's go ahead and put in the subway lines. I may not put all of the lines in. I might just do it a stop there and not turn these on yet because there, there isn't a whole lot. No, you know what? I'll just do it. It's going to cost me money, but I'll just do it. The only thing is, it would be nice to have there, have a stop next to all of these buildings here, but I'll do like buses or something. I'll do buses. All right, so let's go back. Let's go back. Back, 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 back. Put a stop here. And then a stop all the way at the end. Look at that. 
look at that. That is a really, really cool line. I'm very, very happy with that. Yeah, as it, you guys will see, like I'm gonna start like building up this downtown. It's gonna be very, very cool. In fact, while I'm here, let me zone these, these areas here. I'm really, really lacking in higher level workers. Oh, oh, you guys, let me show you this. This is my unemployment. Unemployment 10%, it's kind of high, but this is the coolest mod I think you can get for City Skylines. It's a mod that shows you the employment details and it shows you by education category. Um, Claude never puts this mod on when he plays City Skylines, and I don't understand why. <laughs> because it is the most useful mod in the game. This little teeny tiny window here. But so what this is telling me is that my highly educated workforce has the highest unemployment, which means I need more office buildings. Which is what I'm putting in right now. Uh, so we're gonna put we're gonna put those in. Uh, Zappy says I think Zach is frozen. Doctor Brown says hit play. <laughs> Zappy says he's not done with the metro lines. Oh well, we're done now. We're done now. Viper says I love how your college is looking so far. Thank you, Viper. Thank you. I'm really happy with how it's turning out too. Uh. Claude says, Claude does not even know that mod was a thing. Uh, AJ says, Claude is a cool but crazy mayor, not like you, Zach, who's all about profitable business. <laughs> all right, all right. Guilty as charged. <laughs> well, I am making a quite a nice little profit in this city, I've just got to say. I just got to say that. All right. So we got a whole bunch of new offices here. Hopefully these will grow up and have a lot new tax dollars. And while, before I run out of money, let me do one more crazy thing. This is gonna blow all of your guys' minds. We are gonna connect this road from this side to this side. And that's gonna become really important later on. Not so important right now, but later on it will be important. All right, so I think I can just do something like this. No, I can't do something like that. Maybe something like this. Yeah, this is perfect. This is perfect. Boom. Yeah, so it's just a curve that goes all the way around the top. And then what we can do, so see how we have this high density residential all the way along here? We can extend it to go all the way around here and then all these people can work in these like high rise office buildings and we can have this huge park that encircles the entire downtown. That is my great master plan. Whoa, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I've been like, I've been think, I think about this city when I'm not streaming you guys. Just, just so you guys are aware. <laughs> I think there's like more stuff that's coming in here. You guys don't even know. You guys don't even know. Um, Liam says, wow, what is that mod called? You know, I don't know. It's in, the it's in the description. I list all the mods I have. Dr. Brown says, hit the pause button so you can play, so you can make some money. I, I'm kind of scared about hitting the pause button because what if it doesn't work? What if the college campus doesn't work? You guys, I'm a little stressed out. Uh, Viper says, if this was real life and you were the principal, I will definitely come to your school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, hey, if I had my own school, it would be awesome. It would be amazing. We would have, we would have a Fortnite class taught by Claude from Chicago. Okay, Claude, I would hire you to be professor of Fortnite. I hope you're okay with that. Here's a question. If you took Claude's Fortnite class, would you get an A? I think I would probably get like a C or something. <laughs> I don't know. Claude would probably think I didn't do enough homework. <laughs> He'd be like, Zach, do your homework. Uh, Zappy says, Zach, why do you still not have traffic manager, the traffic manager mod? 
Two-way roads are overrated. The classic road, the one Zach uses almost everywhere. Um, yeah, so I don't, use, I, I don't like the traffic manager mod. I know everybody else on YouTube who does City Skylines uses the traffic manager mod. I don't like it. It really slows down your game. And it, I mean, just think about it. Like if your game save file has all of those instructions buried in it for every intersection and where all the cars have to go, that's going to slow down your game. It's just, it's too much information. So I just, I just, uh, I don't do that. You got to realize too, I live stream. A lot of YouTubers don't live stream. So they like record videos and then post videos. So it doesn't matter to them if their city's laggy. If my city becomes laggy, it drives me nuts. And it's going to drive you nuts too because I'm streaming live. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hit the play button. Are you guys ready for this? We're going to hit play and see what happens. Boom, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. We forgot to put water in the college campus. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up one second. Uh, nobody has water. Nobody has any water or any power. See, what a disaster. All right, let's just run power lines across here. Will this work? Please work. These work. Okay, so there's one power line. Then we just need another power line over here. And then we just need some water pipes. Water pipes. This will come down here. This will come up here. And we'll do another... Another thing like that. All right, perfect. There we go. Liam says, we don't read the descriptions. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> um, okay. Um, Liam says, making circles again. <laughs> yeah. Zappy Zebra says, uh, you should put the office buildings toward the center because the buildings are going best are best going low to high like steps if you want those to be high rises. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 there's more stuff to come. More stuff to come. I'm doing the outside first. We're going outside in. We're going to put the outside in. Look at, none of them are even growing up. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, Brady says, Fortnite class. <laughs> Good Gaming says, oh no, I look away from the TV for two minutes and my city has a massive ravine running straight down the middle. Brady says, oof. <laughs> Zappy says, I would get an F. AJ says, I would get an S for sit down. Yeah, right. AJ would get, AJ would get all the extra credit points is what would happen. Viper said, Zach would get an A+. Plus. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Um, Zappy says, I never played Fortnite. Dr. Brown says, I won't be in that class because Fortnite is cringe. Yeah, Dr. Brown will be in the, in the YouTuber class. We'll have, a, we'll have a class on Fortnite and then a class on YouTube. Dr. Brown will be in, in the YouTube class. Um, Claude says, I would grade on performance. Oof. Oof. Claude says, all plan co-players computers are on fire. Good Gaming says, I say let them die from dehydration. What? <laughs> Those poor college kids. Brady says, could you grade by participation? <laughs> Zappy says, I wouldn't like seeing giant power lines outside my dorm. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll fix that later. I mean, we're, we, we don't have any trees or anything. I haven't even done any trees. Brady says, because I ain't getting an ace, that's all I'm saying. I, I don't know, Brady. When you played with me, we got a victory royale. So, you know, I, you would get some points for that. <laughs> um... Zappy said, when I get bored, I read the description. Viper says, Zach, I want you to promise me when you get popular and I'm in chat and you get message on chat like crazy, don't forget me. Oh, <laughs> I am not going to forget any of you guys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But I don't think that's, that's going to happen anytime soon, Viper. 
<laughs> so I wouldn't worry about it, but thank you. Brady says, Zach, you never renamed our homes. Brady, Brady is always reminding me of all the stuff I need to do. Yeah, well, let's, let's go do that in one second. Um, Brady says, we still have random strangers in our homes. I try to ask them to leave, but it's owned by a Karen. <laughs> Dr. Brown says, Zach, our money income has dropped to around 90%. Oof. Good Gaming says, I shot the people in my home. Uh, Good Gaming says, wait, is the city set in America? I don't know. You know what? I think that this city is set in our own country. I think we make our own country for this. Oh, the farm is on fire. The farmland is on fire. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's awful. Look at that. The fire is spreading. Oh my goodness, the poor pig farm. What a disaster. That never happens to Dr. Doom's, the Dr. Doom Burgers area. I don't know why not. Uh, Zappy said, don't forget us, Zach. Freddy says, yes, because America's the only country. Australia isn't real. <laughs> Zappy says, Brady is your to-do list. Yeah, Brady is very good at that. Claude says, normal solos for midterm and final areas solos. Wait, what? <laughs> AJ says, save the wheat. Liam says, save Fred. Zappy says, this is probably set in Poland. All right, well, let's go back to Subcity. We got to name everybody's houses again because the, the tidal wave came through and destroyed everybody's houses. And I'm sorry about that, but you guys all lost your houses. All right, so I don't remember where anybody lived, but we were just gonna name all your guys' houses again. So this is gonna be Brady's house. Brady's house. Since like nobody's house is left, nobody's. So that's Brady's house. We'll make this, no, we'll make this good gaming. Good gaming's house. So Brady and good gaming, you live right next to each other. Uh, I hope that's okay. <laughs> Brady and Good Gaming. Hey, these are nice looking houses. That even looks like an Australian looking house, doesn't it? Those are big looking houses. All right, we're going to give Claude this kind of like skyscraper looking house here. I don't know why Claude needs such a giant house, but I hope you're okay with this house, Claude. This is going to be CFC's house. <gasps> what just happened? What just happened? Why did everyone lose electricity? We should have enough. We have enough power, enough water. We should be good for everything. Sewage? Wait, what? What is going on? Wait a minute. These are the sewage plants. We have sewage pipes going through here. Why is there sewage problems over here? And they all went away. Must have been a glitch or something. That's strange. Very, very strange. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> don't worry, don't, you guys, don't mind the giant sewer problem in the city. Just forget about it. <laughs> Liam says Zachtopia. Oh, nice. That is a really cool... Zachtopia. I like the sound of that, Liam. I like the sound of that. You know what? We have not named this city yet. We've not named the city yet, and I really like that name, Liam. So, you know what? For now, let's just use Liam's, Liam's name here. Why don't we call the city... Change it from Lakewood. That's just the default name. We'll call this Zach. Zactopia. <laughs> oh my goodness. Zactopia, you guys all live here. <laughs> in my crazy city. Hey, Mad Matthew's in chat. How's it going, Mad Matthew? I'm naming houses after everybody. <laughs> so if you're in chat, you get a house. That's how it works. <laughs> All right, so this is Claude's house here. We're going to put Mad Matthew across the street from Claude. I hope you're okay with that, Mad Matthew. So Mad Matthew's house is right across the street from Claude. 
And we're going to put Viper right next to Mad Matthew. Viper, this is your house. Viper's house. So Viper and Mad Matthew are right next to Claude. Just uh, warning you guys, Claude plays a lot of video games, and he yells and screams when he plays them. So it's kind of, it, it might be a little noisy. I hope you guys are okay with that. <laughs> I'm just giving you a heads up. All right, this big house over here, you know, we got to give this to Dr. Brown. Dr. Brown. So Dr. Brown runs the hospital and everything, so he needs a big house. So this is going to be Dr. Brown's house right over here. Uh, Liam, where is Liam's house going to be? You know what? Let's put Liam's house down here at the end of the cul-de-sac. There's this giant house down here at the end. So Liam, you get the the house at the end of the street. This is probably the best location, I think. Look at, look at. You even have like this great little like outdoor patio area. Look with the grill. Man, this is kind of cool. Oh, there's a guy here. There's even. A, oh, it looks like a grandma or something. <laughs> All right. Well, this is gonna be Liam's house. This is gonna be Liam's house. You might have to kick out those old people. I don't know what they're doing in your house. Liam's house. All right, who have I forgotten? Uh, Duma. Duma's in chat saying, what about me? Okay, Duma. Duma, let's give Duma. Duma, you get this big house here on the corner. I feel like Duma needs like a corner house. Look at, he's got like this like balcony like right on the corner so he can keep an eye on everybody. <laughs> so this is gonna be Duma's house right here. And we, we just gotta hope there's not another tidal wave that destroys all you guys' homes. Duma's house. Or maybe we can put even like one of those, you know that you can put up those sea walls that like block tidal waves? Like you can like create, maybe I'll do something like that just to protect all these houses. Zappy Zebra, we haven't given you a house yet. He says, give me a house too, it better not be a poor shack. All right, Zappy Zebra needs an awesome, awesome house. Look at this big house here. Why don't we give Zappy Zebra this one? This looks pretty cool. This one is like ultra modern and everything. I feel like Zappy could live in a house like this. Look at this. All right, so we're gonna give this one to Zappy Zebra. Zappy Zebra's house. And we haven't given Gavin one yet. I don't know if Gavin is still here, but let's give Gavin, um, who's this house? The Oak Residence. Let's give Gavin this house, this giant red house. I feel like Gavin would live in a giant red house. <laughs> so this is, we'll say, we'll call this Gav Dog's house. Or what, what is, what is this? His Fortnite name is G Killa. So this will be G Killa's house. Um, AJ. Oh, pff, how did I forget AJ? All right, we're gonna give AJ this house here. AJ just gets the house with the green roof. <laughs> No, no, no. You know what? I, you need a bigger house, AJ. Let's see. Let's give AJ... This, no, that's Dr. Brown's house. Let's give AJ... Oh, this is a nice house. All right. AJ, how about this one? This is right on the corner. Okay, so AJ, you're right on the corner next to Claude. Here's Claude, Mad Matthew, and Viper. And then we'll have AJ right here. AJ's house. I think that's a pretty awesome one. AJ's house. Boom. A oh gosh, I can't spell it. Can't spell it right. AJ's house. Boom. There you go, AJ. You got the house next to Claude. <laughs> Liam says, party at my house. I already have the grill. Zappy says, what about AJ? He should have the best house in the neighborhood. Well, he got, the, he got this nice house right here. He's got like solar panels and everything. Everything. Uh, Good Gaming earlier said, great idea, Dr. Brown. My house has tsunami defenses while I actually placed one seawall and called it a job well done. <laughs> Good Gaming seems like he has a lot of disasters in his city. Just saying. But then again, I have a lot of disasters in this city, too. So, so there is that. Um, I feel like I should have, like, something in the middle here. I feel like I should have something in the middle of, of all your guys' houses in Sub-City. Let's see, what do I got here in Parks? 
we could have like a giant statue here. <laughs> we should have a giant statue right in the middle of Subcity. Look at that. Look at that. You guys have your own statue. And you can come and hang out right in the middle here next to all your houses. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? That is Subcity right there. Looking mighty nice. Holy cow, we've been playing for an hour already? Shoot. All right. Um, you know what I'd like to do is I'd like to have some more stuff over here, but let's see how this is going. Oh, I haven't, I haven't been letting this run very long. <laughs> All right, campus area info. Oh, nice, we already have enough students. We just need academic works now. How do I buy academic works? I think I have to give a research grant. We'll just do a dissertation research grant. We'll give a dissertation and then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Zappy says, guys, if you hear screaming from my house, don't worry about it. What? Uh, Dr. Brown says, we should have an area with two solar updraft towers, pumping trucks, water trucks, shelters on top of a hill, tsunami defenses, defenses where tsunamis usually come from. That is a good idea. We can do that for its own episode, though. <laughs> AJ says, yes, now I'm on the other side of the road. <laughs> good Giving says, plank, uh, place a sinkhole in the middle of the houses? No way. AJ says, do a dog park. Zappy says, I have a fear of dogs, don't ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we can't do a dog park. Maybe a cat park. If there was a kitty cat park, I would put that in the center of your guys' houses. Not a dog park, though. Uh, Brady says, I don't exactly have Mr. Beast's budget. Liam says, we need benches. Yeah, maybe I should put some benches over there. Uh, Zappy says, Brady will be the new Mr. Beast. <laughs> Viper says, Zach, just remember, no matter what happens, I will always be on your side. No matter what happens, I will always be there when you're streaming. Thank you, Viper. Good Gaming says, are you sure you even have $10? Wait, what? AJ says, and picnic tables. All right, I'll put some more stuff down there when it gets uh, daytime again. Um, Zappy says, I will predict the next Mr. Beast video. First to swim across a lake full of money wins the lake. <laughs> oh, Dr. Brown says, I kind of have a fear of dogs. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I was thinking I would like to have a parking lot over here, but I don't know where I would put it. Maybe what if I put the parking lot right in the middle? Would that look ugly? I feel like if any of you have gone to a college campus, you know there's always parking problems. Always. So we've got to put a parking lot in here somewhere. I just have to figure out how to do it. All right. I know I'm running long, you guys, but I, there's, there's more stuff I wanted to accomplish in today's stream. So you guys are just going to have to hang in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to go a little while longer. Uh, the, the other thing I needed to do is now that we have the college campus up and running, I need to connect. Well, they're connected with the metro, but I wanted to have buses. So this, ha this, this metro station has like buses in it too. It's the bus metro hub that I'm not really using. So I need to have, wow, look at all the people. Holy cow, that's awesome. Um, I need to have buses like go around these whole areas. And so I wanna set those up. I mean, it doesn't cost me any more money, I don't think. But yeah, I could just create new lines here. Uh, trolley bus? No, regular bus. Yeah, I just create bus lines here. Um, and I think I would just create a line next to, in every one of these little areas. All right, so I can create a line here. And it will come yeah, let me do this first. Let me do one around the wealth, this wealthy district here. And I think I'm gonna do one here. Here. Uh, 
gosh, I should go the other way so these people don't have to cross the street. Hold on, let me, t let me take these back. Take it back, I take it back. I'm gonna go the other direction so they don't have to cross the street. Because this way, look at, this is like right on the edge of the street here. All right, so we're gonna add a bus stop there. Bus yeah, this is much better, much, much better. We'll add a stop all the way around the edges here. And I only want one stop here. And then these people can just walk across to here. So that's gonna be it. So we'll have, we'll have this line stop here. Okay, so that's one line. So that covers this whole district. Um, and I do have, so I have these bus lanes here. I made these purposely with bus lanes, but I'm gonna wait to do the buses here until I've expanded this, because this is gonna expand all out here, and then I'm gonna have buses that go around the whole college. So we'll do that, we'll do that in a second. I would like to have buses around this whole area here. So I think what we'll do is we'll start a bus, we'll start a line here. We'll have to stop here. All right, and I want this to go all around the downtown area. This goes all the way around the edge. And this, wait a second. How am I gonna connect this up? Uh, maybe, maybe I should come around like this. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, let's see, what are people saying in chat here? Um, Brady's allergic to dogs. <laughs> Good Gaming says, I have two pet dogs. Uh, Zappy says, one time when I was little, three stereo Dalmatians chased me and I ran into the house screaming. Man, I had Dalmatian puppies when I was little. It was, it, Dalmatians have so much energy. It's like crazy. It's, it's crazy. Um... Dr. Brown says, put parking on the other side of the medical area. That is a really good idea, Dr. Brown. Uh, Zappy said, if this city was real, it would be the world's best city, but also the world's most dangerous city. Duma says, well, bye. I got to go. It's 5 a.m. for me, and I have to sleep. Thank you for stopping by, Duma. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, Brady says, if it's the most dangerous city, how would it be the world's best city? <laughs> Dr. Brown says, I got to go to sleep. Put parking across the medical school part of the college. Great idea, Dr. Brown. Good Gaming says, 5 a.m., what sleep is even left? <laughs> Zappy says, good point. Just sleep for another three hours. AJ says, good morning, Good Gaming. Zappy says, it's your limit, probably maybe four. Duma says, good gaming. I wake up at 2 p.m. and sleep to about 5 a.m. Brady says, honestly, I get by worse with three hours of sleep than no sleep. Uh, AJ says, yeah, but it's Monday, Good Gaming. Brady says, Claude be like, OMG, go to sleep. <laughs> Zappy says, is, is it acceptable to be up right now? I don't think it's acceptable to be up. You guys all need to go to bed. <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> Viper says, you can put in a petting zoo. Brady says, 10 a.m. I didn't, Texas jumped back behind a day. Oh, he didn't know Texas jumped back today. Mm, okay. All right. Well, let's, you know what? I've screwed up that bus line. I kind of screwed up that bus line. Um, I'm still kind of working on it. <laughs> it just doesn't, it doesn't really go anywhere. All right, you know what we could do? Let's delete these guys. Let's delete these. 
you know, it could come down here. It could come like around here. Now I don't want to move the stop. How do I make a new stop? You know what? I think I just screwed it up. Let me start over again. Let me start all the way over again. All right. You know what? Let me put in benches. <laughs> Let me finish Subcity first. All right. So we got our statue here. We need to put in some nice like picnic tables and benches and stuff. We got a bunch of like props that are over here. All right. So we'll put in a nice little gazebo down here. You can hang out in the gazebo. And then um we'll have like a bunch of these. We'll put in like a whole bunch. And then we'll have some nice benches. Some benches over there, and we'll have some benches over here. And I don't really want to put pathways and stuff. I feel like it would be better if it was just like, um, let's move this bench just a little bit. Can we just move it just a little bit? Yeah, let's just adjust it just a little bit. I feel like this kind of thing is better if there's no, like... If there's no boundaries, you know, like it's just open. You can just like walk out of your backyard and just kind of like hang out in this like common area. Look at this guy. He even has a pool. Whose house is this? I don't think we gave this house to anybody yet. Somebody has a pool. <laughs> um, let's see what else is in here. Uh, we don't need any playground equipment, but we could use some, let's put some trash cans in here, just, uh, just to make sure the trash is picked up. I feel like there was more stuff in here. Oh, you know what? It's in each of the different little areas. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's put street lamps in here. I forgot. I forgot this was a thing. All right. So all around here, we're going to put these street lamps. And this will, like, light up this whole area. So that when you come out here at night, it won't be, like, all dark. This is going to look very, very cool. Put some street lamps over here. Street lamp right there. Nice. Now maybe these should be moved back a little bit. Maybe we should put these street lamps like more back this way. And we'll get rid of these guys. Nice. All right, that's going to look cool. Uh, Look at how, just that little bit of detail adds so much. Look at that. I love it. I love it. This is all your guys' backyards. <laughs> hey, Jake is in chat. Good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping by. Liam says, cool little park, Zach. AJ says, BBQ, barbecue grills. Yeah, everybody, like, but everybody's house here already has barbecue grills. So I don't want to put, like, a, honestly, I'll, t I'll, I'll tell you why. I I don't like cooking on like community barbecue grills. I, I I would rather cook on my own. And since everybody like already has their own like right over here, then like you guys can just like borrow each other's. <laughs> like where there was a bunch of barbecue. Where's Liam's house? Liam's house had barbecue grills. Uh where is his house? Oh, here it is. Yeah, see, look at Liam's house has all the barbecue grills you need. Look at that. You don't need any more barbecue grills than that. Just go over to Liam's house. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't really like community barbecue grills. Unless it's like a, like a national park or, and you're like camping out and everybody's just like cooking outside. 
Brady says, thankfully, e-learning is ending this week because I can't take much more of this. Zappy says, for me, there's different due dates for different assignments. Viper says, okay, I'm going to come back in the stream in a few minutes because I'm going to practice my editing on Fortnite and my building, but uh, imagine you reacting to my YouTube channel about me playing Fortnite. <laughs> Zappy says, why is there an old lady in all of our houses? I don't know where these old people came from. <laughs> Claude says, what if Liam is not home? Well, then you should get a grill at your house, Claude. <laughs> Where's Claude's house? Claude's house is this one, right? Wait. Wasn't this Claude's house? I thought this was Claude's house. Did it change? There's Good Gaming's house. There's Brady's house. I swear this was Claude's house. What happened? Maybe I didn't save it. Maybe I typed it and didn't save it. Claude's house. Sometimes I do that. Uh, so this is Claude's house. Yeah, maybe Claude doesn't have a grill. Claude, you'll need to get your own barbecue, though. I mean, look, you have plenty of room back here for a barbecue. <laughs> Just get one at Costco or something. <laughs> Good Gaming says, Brady, I'm going to steal your barbecue. <laughs> AJ says, it's Mother's Day. Oh, yeah, it's Mother's Day. Everybody say hello to their mothers today. <laughs> Zappy said you should become a reaction channel. <laughs> React to all of our videos. Yeah, you guys would all copyright strike me. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> Jake says this is my last time playing Fortnite. I can teach you 90s, but a different cool way. Hope hop on tonight. Zappy says I don't have a grill. <laughs> Liam says Claude, you can borrow it anytime. <laughs> Good Gaming says make that money. All right, uh, let's try and do this bus thing again. I want to really see if I can get it working. I got one bus line around the health and wealth district. Let's try to get one more, and I'm going to start it from over here this time. So we'll start it from over here. I mean, bus lines are, bus lines are hard to do. I feel, like, I feel like you guys are pretty good at them. I mean, maybe, maybe some of you guys are good at them, but I've always had a hard time with them. So we're going to create a new line here right next to this one. It's gonna come out here. It's gonna turn left. Oh, you know what? Can I make it go out this way? Oh, this might solve my problem. Hold up. We're gonna need multiple road access points here. So this has got to come over here. I'm going to make this come like this. And then we're going to curve this slightly like that. Perfect. So the bus can just go straight down this way. Good thing I thought about that. That's going to make it so much better. All right. So let's start this over again. Okay. So this comes out this way and then comes around like this. We'll have, I don't know if we need a bus stop there. But we can do a bus stop there. And then we'll come directly around like this. We'll stop in front of this convention center here. We'll stop in front of this building here. And we'll stop in front of this opera house here. And then we'll come all the way down here. Oh gosh, it's on the wrong side of the street. Uh, hmm. Well, uh, Jake says, can you hop on tonight? No, I'm not going to hop on tonight, Jake. <laughs> We're, uh, uh, I'm just doing this stream and then, um, and then I'm done with gaming for tonight, but I will be playing solos tomorrow night. And then we're going to be playing Tuesday, Tuesday night. We'll be playing squads with subs. Good Gaming says, I hate buses just as much as I hate walking. <laughs> Zappy says, if you ever see how-to live streams on this channel, they're not real tutorials. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Jake says, okay. Um, I like buses. I, I've ridden the bus a lot in my life, um, especially when I lived in Los Angeles. I, would, I rode the bus a lot. And like in Los Angeles, like it doesn't, it doesn't, everybody's stuck in traffic in Los Angeles, right? So it doesn't matter if you're driving in your car or you're riding in a bus, you're going to get to the same place at the same time. So I would ride the bus just to avoid the frustration of traffic. Because if I'm sitting on the bus, I could at least like read a book or something. If I'm, if I'm sitting in my car, you're just sitting in your car. That's how much I hate traffic. I was like, well, I let the bus driver deal with the stress. All right, so maybe, maybe I make this go to the fishing district. But there's already, there's already a subway line that goes to the fishing district. That doesn't make any sense. The whole point of this line is I'm trying to get over here. All right, so we're gonna do this. Let's do this. I've got it. We are going to... No, I don't got it. <laughs> I don't got it. All right, let me delete this. I'll delete this. Delete this. And this will go, we'll just go around the loop here. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna have a whole bunch of stops here. I can add those stops later. And then we'll just come down here. Stop here. Stop here. And a stop here. And then this can come down here. And I think we'll just stop all the way along the top here, and then come out back over to here. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, so that comes along the top. And then, okay, so that connects a bus line. So now we have a bus line over here and a bus line over here. And then I think we can have another bus that just, just goes around the edge of this whole thing. So we'll have three separate bus lines. This one will come up this way and this can go straight along, straight along the edge here. And this will come all the way around. We'll add stops here, we'll add a stop here, we'll add a stop here. Stop right there. A stop right here. Well, I don't know. We don't need two stops here. We'll add a stop there and then a stop here. We'll add it right in the same spot. Right in the same spot. And then out back over to here. Boom. All right. So three new bus lines. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Um, and then people who live in the city here, sub-city, you'll have to make your way over to these bus stops. I'm not gonna have a bus, you have your own metro station here. So you can just come to the metro station and then zoom, 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 head up all the way over to there. Look at that. All right, we're making money. We're almost all the way back up to where we started. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Good Gaming says, I cleaned my studio desk yesterday. Goodness, it's dusty. Poof. Jake says, I'll add you. Thank you, man. Zappy says, buses are meh. <laughs> Beyond my monitor, it's just wires of spaghetti. <laughs> AJ says, GG, dusty desk top for sale. Zappy says, and dust. All right, I got to go for a second. I'll be back. 
Good Gaming says, I was actually quite disgusted. Oof. Yeah, it's, I, I love the feeling of cleaning. I've talked about this before. Like, I'm a pretty neat person, but I just love, like, you know, like, before I streamed today, like, I cleaned up all my whole kitchen and everything, and, like, I just, I like that feeling of when you're done cleaning and everything is neat and order, organized, and especially when you're doing, like, computer stuff and you, like, organize all your wires and things, it's, it's very nice. I just love that feeling. Uh, Liam says, Zappy Zebra, you need zip ties for your wires. Zappy says, I'm back. Good Gaming says, I consider myself to be very clean and organized person and dust is like a rival enemy to me. I feel the same way. Brady says, I don't even know what's the last time I've cleaned my Chromebook. Zappy says, I'm really messy. My desk is cluttered. You can find my phone, some random iPad, an Xbox controller, a tissue box, a Rubik's Cube, some random pencil, and a book, none of which are organized at all. Claude says, I was cleaning my setup right now, and it's bad. I do not like the way I set it up this time. Yeah, Claude, I'll tell you your problem. Claude doesn't have a desk. That's the problem. You need to get a desk, Claude. <laughs> okay, you guys, it's nighttime. Check this out. Check this out. Look at the park we just built at nighttime. Oh, my goodness. Put your sunglasses on. It is full of light. What a cool place to hang out. Isn't that cool? Oh my goodness. That is awesome. That is awesome. Um, and while we're here, you know, while we're expanding downtown, let's put a few more office buildings in here, shall we? I feel like we should put in some more office buildings. Um, I have the new Japanese mod pack with, and it comes with these cool office high rises, which I want to put in the downtown area. So we have two more I want to put in. There's another one over here. Um, this one's smaller. I can only put one of these in though. So I have to be a little bit choosy where it goes. All right, I'm going to put this one right here. I think that looks good. And then I think I'll put this one in over here. These are very expensive, by the way. So maybe I should put it in over here. Or over here? It doesn't fit. Why doesn't it fit over there? Oh, that's where the subway station is. That's why. I can put it like right here. I can put it right here. Okay, what am I missing for the monument? I need... I'm trying to build the space elevator. So I need the mall. I need... Oh, I need the stadium. Let's figure out where I want to put the stadium. I need the stadium in the high-end mall. Where is the stadium? There's the stadium. All right, I think the stadium has to go like over here. This is a pretty good spot for it. All right, so we put the stadium in there, and then that's where I was going to put the high-rise building. That's all right. I can put the high-rise building like, so I think the other high-rise building should go right here then. Put it right here. And we'll turn these off for now just so that it doesn't spend all my money. But eventually we're going to be like turning these all on like one by one. And that'll look pretty nice. Yeah, it's like it's coming together, man. It's all coming together. Yeah, I probably should have made this road bigger. But uh, hopefully people don't use these roads all that much. I mean, when I turn this into one way, it'll, it'll help. Why don't I turn it one way right now? That'll probably help a lot. Um, it's this one. 
make it one way with trees. Make it all fancy. Nice, look at that. Wow, this is looking pretty good, you guys. These guys are missing water. Gosh, this is gonna look so good. Look at this one, This I left this one on. Let's turn this off, that's very expensive. <laughs> Thousand bucks a week, I don't have that kind of money. But yeah, when, when it's all gonna be turned on with all the lights and everything, it's gonna look so cool. It'll be so epic. This is like the best downtown ever. <laughs> I don't know why these office buildings aren't growing up. I zoned all of these office buildings and no, none are growing up. That's crazy to me. What happened to my unemployment? Oh, unemployment's down at 3%. Oh, I don't have any unemployment. That's weird. I don't know what happened there. Hey, Cracked is in chat. How's it going, man? Saying, hey. Um, let's see. <laughs> Liam says, come on, Claudette needs a GoFundMe page to help him get a desk. Who is with me? I'm with you, Liam. I'm with you. Good Gaming says, good luck with the space elevator, Zach. My city, with all of its wealth, still struggle to even get the funds for an elevator. Yeah, I am working on getting the space elevator. How much does it cost? It costs $1.5 million. Oh, I'm so far away from that. So far away. But I want to put the space elevator right in the middle here. That's what I'm kind of designing this all around. And that's why all of these like tourism buildings are like right around here. It's because the space elevator is going right here and it's going to look so cool when it's done. It's going to look super, super cool. Brady says, yeah, it's 1.5 million, so good luck. Claude says, no, my parents don't want a desk in their house. Oof. AJ says, bruh. <laughs> Claude says, but it's my area. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, I think we're going to end it off there. I'm really happy with how things are going. Oh, shoot. Who has, who's missing water? Oh, I don't have enough water. Maybe that's why people aren't. Oh, maybe that's why people aren't developing this area. Okay, let me change. Let me fix this really quick. And then we're going to end it. Um, there we go. Beautiful. All right. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I had a lot of fun on the city skylines thing. Just as a recap, we did the, we did some downtown area work. We did some work on sub city, but mostly we built our university of truth here where we teach Fortnite and YouTube on this great college campus. And we also have this uh, School of Medicine, which is also kind of nice. All right, but we're gonna end off there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun. And remember to do something fun every single day. Until next time, this is Zach signing off. <laughs>